Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So even if I don't agree with it, I have to abide by it. This is why you see even those in government, some of them, they also don't agree with it. UPND was critical to this day. But today, they are in power. And it is a law. So there is nothing that they can do. They have to follow. They have to follow. UPND policy does not agree with this day. We all remember when they were in opposition, they were against this day. And the PF called them to be satanists. They call them to be satanists. Now they are in power. Unfortunately, much as they may not agree with this day, they have to abide by it. So some of you were asking, hey, how can they each them? Where is that kind of them? Where is that kind of them? I think on this one, I may not agree with that kind of them on many issues. Unfortunately, I mean, the man has been critical of this day, even before. So why are you expecting him to start, you know, jumping and whatever, whatever, whatever? Yes, he respects the he respects the day. He has given it as a holiday. He has given it as a holiday because it is not up to him. But surely, personally, I don't think he, he agrees to this day. So he prays wherever he prays, you know, and he does not abrogate the constitution because I mean, there is no constitution that says no, he must be he must be at a, a, the showgrounds, or he must be... Ah, no, there is no law. The law that is there is that it's supposed to be a day of prayer, it's supposed to be a holiday, and that is fulfilled. But in as far as what activity does, there is no law. There is no law. And don't call anyone a, a antichrist or anti-God or an atheist, or a satanist, because they don't go and raise hands uh, wherever you want them to raise hands. Don't. Because that in itself is not Christian. And that's why I'm saying this day is divisive. Because on this day, instead of you people praying, you start looking. Who is not praying? Who, is, who hasn't closed your eyes? And whatever, whatever. And the hypocrites, they take an opportunity to show themselves in some church that they are praying, they are respecting the day. That is why I am against this day. That is why I am against this day. Because it's a day at which you, you judge others, at, at, at which, you know, hypocrisy is, 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 is manifested. Hypocrisy is manifested on this day. And that is why, from my point of view, it should just be removed from our calendar. This day must be removed from our calendar because this day, we don't need it. It was not created in good faith. It was created to, to, to manifest hypocrisy, to show to others that no, Walungu, Navantuwa, they are Christians. That's why they created this day. That's why they created this day. It is political. This day is political. There is nothing Christian about this day. This day is all about politics. It was created for Walungu and the people that were around him that they were Christians. So that the naive Zambians, the naive Zambians who say, yes, this is the man of God. This is the man that should continue leading Zambia. Meanwhile, a lot of wrong things were happening. A lot of wrong things were happening. So that is our position. And this has been my position even before. The first day I went to uh, showgrounds, I remember I took a picture of, you know, that leaflet where Edgar Lung was there. 
Unfortunately, by, by UPND, they made the same mistake. I haven't seen, you know, what they printed this time around. They also put a, a hacker in the Ichirima there, which is, which is wrong. Which is wrong. If it's a day of prayer, I mean, why are you bringing, why are you putting the, the, the picture of a leader there? Why? It's supposed to be a picture of God, whichever picture, not the picture of a leader. So this day is, is, is about nothing but hypocrisy. It's about nothing but hypocrisy. I'm not saying don't pray. I'm not saying, I prayed myself. This morning, I actually went to pray. I prayed this morning, I prayed. I prayed, but I didn't put up a camera or whatever. No, I prayed. And even tomorrow morning, I will go and pray. I will go for mass in the morning. I go to mass almost every day unless otherwise. I go and I pray. Why can't others also go and pray quietly? Eh? No praying for the nation, praying for the nation. We can organize prayers when it is necessary. When we need to come together, we can organize those prayers and pray together as a nation. Not to put it to say, on this day we must be praying. On this day we must be praying. On this day we must be praying. This day is useless. We should just remove it from our calendar. We should remove it from our calendar. And look, Baed Galunguveli is the one that declared this day. He's the one that brought this day in the calendar. And, of course, like I've said, that he can pray anywhere, he can respect it. But, you know, if you declare something as a public holiday, you bring it part of government, you're supposed to be number one. You're supposed to be pa 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 pioneering it. So, Baed Galungu needed to be part of the government function. But Edgar Rungu, to show that he's committed to this day, he needed to be part of this day. Not to go in a private church with Sande Sinyangwe. No. He declared it as a public holiday. He declared it as, as, as a government day. He declared it as a government day. A government religious day. So if you declare it as a government religious day, you must be part of the government activities. You must be part of the government activities. You are the founder. You should have been there. You should have been there. You can actually excuse the HH on this one, much as he's the Republican president. You can actually excuse him for it, because really, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's personal. And so he can pray wherever he can pray. But by Ed Galungu, he should have been at the at the uh, at at the showground. He should have been there to show that yes, I believe in this day. I stand with this day. Not you, you you declare it, and you even go and organize your private pr prayers. No, no. This is his day, Galungu. You are the one that declared it. That's why you should have been there. That's why from my point of view, Vaes Talungu was right to be part of the, the, the people that gathered at uh, what is the showgrounds. Even I think last year, if I remember well, she was part of that because it is a, it is a national day. It is a state's day. So you don't make excuses to say, no, I was praying elsewhere and whatever, whatever, when you are actually the one that declared it. You are the one that declared it. If anything, even Edgar Lungu himself, even Hakainde himself, must be able to pray because he's the Republican president, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You may not agree with it, but it is a, a state's day. So you must be part of the state function. You must be part of the state function. So, unfortunately, as, as like I'm saying on HH, you can excuse him because all along, even when he was in opposition, he was against it. So you can really somehow excuse him to say wherever he's praying, let him pray. As long as the holiday is given and people want to whatever, whatever they do that, that is that is fine. But for for Vahedi Galungu, since it's his day, he was supposed to be there. He is supposed to be there, not to be in a private church. Uh -uh. He is a former president. He is the one that declared this day. He is supposed to be there. But Esther was right to be part of that function. And then we had that function wherever Ed Galungu went. And, uh, you know, uh, this Sanders Nyangwe, 
He played politics. Sanders Nangwe played play politics. He played politics there. He played politics. He was like, eh, 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 this country, you know, like, we, the, the blessings are, are, are based on you. What, what? Come on. Sanders Nyango, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Sinyango? What are you talking about that our blessings are going to be blocked because of Ed Galungu? Eh? How? Ed Galungu now has become our Messiah. Eh? Has become our Messiah through which our blessings are. If, if Ed Galungu things are not okay, then this country will not be blessed. This is the lies that I don't want. This is the lies that I'm refusing. Eh? You are cheating people. No, because of what you're going through. What, what, what? Come on. Come on. You can do better, Sande Sinyango. You can do better. You can do better. Stop cheating people. Stop cheating people. If you are in support of Edgar Lungu, just support him. Declare, yes, you support him. Don't come and start cheating people to say, now, because of whatever is happening to Edgar Lungu, then, you know, our nation will not be blessed. Come on, that is nonsense. That is nonsense. And I know some fools who come up jumping up. No, Sanders Nyango is a man of God. Nonsense. That is just a man. That is just a man who has employed himself or who has been employed, you know, to, 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 to preach the word of God. He is not anything uh, a, a spiritual. He's not. He's just a human being. He's just a human being. He's just a human being. Sanders Nyango is just a human being. And those of you who want to be to be shivering and whatever, 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 fear me if you. Fear me if you. I saw somebody, hey, don't talk about a man of God. You are inheriting a case. What case? What nonsense is that? What nonsense is that? Don't be misled. Don't be misled by these people. Don't be misled. Apply your reason. A religion doesn't make you, doesn't have to make you stupid. Some of you, they steal from you. You are even seeing they are stealing from you. These so-called papas. Because you think that when it comes to God, you have to become stupid. You don't have to become stupid. Come on. Eh? So that nonsense, what you, hey, no, 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 whatever, whatever. And unfortunately, Barungu also didn't get it right. Barungu didn't get it right. When he started responding, he responded something else. And this is what it is. You know, when you, you speak as a pastor and somebody has to come and speak, from a layman's point of view. But Edgar Rungu came and answered from a layman's point of view. To say, no, I've got no grudge against. So if you think that I'm blocking, Varungu understood it as if it's him who is blocking. Because he's upset and he has blocked blessings. Eh? He, he took it to say, no, if there is someone who, who thinks that I'm blocking the blessings for this country, no, I'm not blocking. How can Varungu <laughs> block blessings for this country? How? How? On what on what grounds? How? Hmm? Come on, guys. That's why I am saying at the end of the day, that's why I'm saying, let's move away from the issues of God. Let us separate, you know, issues of God and politics. Let us separate them. To avoid this confusion, to avoid this confusion, let us just pray, you know, personally. If you are a Catholic, you are a Catholic. If you are seventh day, you are seventh day. If you are a, a, a Islam, Islam. So just, no, not just like that. Let us pray. Let us pray on our personal level. But let us not bring it, bring it to politics. Because if we bring it to politics now, I mean, we'll start talking about you and some others will get upset. No, that is a man of God. Because even Sandra Tsinyangwe, there are people that believe in him. There are people that believe in him. And because he has come into a political arena, I have to talk about him. And when I talk about him, those who follow Sanders Nyangwe, they are uncomfortable. They feel bad. They have attacked their God, their small God. You know, they feel bad. They feel bad. So that is why 
let us please, me I say please, let us separate, you know, religion from politics. Let us separate religion from the state. So that when we go into politics, we can just talk freely. When we go to state matters, we can just talk state, matter, state matters as, as citizens. All of us as citizens. All of us as citizens. Not about man of God, man of God, man of God. How eh? No, this one, this one is, an, is the one where God has anointed. Yeah, this one, he has not been anointed. Yeah? No, yeah? I've gone to the altar of God. Hey, what, what, what? Hey, 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 how can you eat them? What, 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 what? Eh, bachira wata ira kuriatiyo. Eh, things which are happening to you. Eh, just say something. Just say something. I will offer you a rubio. Va akona nkani ku state function. Va ku state function. And this nonsense, mo ati mo mo be mo ma pastors mo. You know, crawling to those people in government. I'm telling you, this naivety has to stop. This naive does to, but at least for me, that's why you don't see me at your campaign and I'm coming in a church to campaign. No, nothing. Yes, I share pictures of me praying and whatever, whatever. It is more of a reflection, not for political mileage. Forget it. Forget it. I don't agree with that. Politics should not be brought to church. Politics should not be brought to church. And the pastors and whatever, 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 stay away from these leaders. Yes, you can advise them. You can advise them. That's for sure. You can advise them. You can advise us. That's for sure. But just as advice, don't come as God has sent me. Nonsense. Don't come as God has sent me. Don't No. Come to me and tell me, you know, entirely from my point of view, this is what I think. Don't come with the nonsense of God has sent me. I will not listen to you. I will not. Come to me and advise me as a human being what you see. Not that this is what God did. I saw. Hey, hey, na chilala. Eh? Karaka pasta, karati kanani kari. Eh? Ati amata. Hey, hey, hey. This is a message for the people of Zambia. What? Nonsense. Nonsense. And you are welcome such stupid people in our country. You even give, give, give them visas. For what? For what? Ah, that's it. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.